Well, I think one of the things that's been very encouraging is that the national associations are really behind this. The Association of Schools and Programs of Public Health, ASPPH, um, which represents both the schools and the programs in the recent years, is has an annual summit for undergraduate uh, public health education that uh, reaches last year 200, uh, 200 faculty and administrators. And uh, there's uh, now listservs and other efforts to try to really connect the faculty. Uh, uh, the Association of American Colleges and Universities, AACNU, which has been involved with this effort from the beginning since uh, the uh, 2006 uh, consensus conference that uh, initiated many of these efforts, uh, is, um, is continuing to be very involved. And they have a new effort called STIRS, Scientific Thinking and Integrative Reasoning Skills. And it's designed to get epidemiology principles into the education of a vast majority of undergraduates through general education. Uh, but ex a new form of general education that extends from the freshman year through the senior year and really is an integrative effort. So AACNU continues to be very much a part of this. And I think the, the corollary of that is that public health has now has the recognition in undergraduate education that it's being taken on as general education courses that the introductory public health courses now uh, are, are often considered uh, appropriate as general education. And that's, uh, that's a big change. That's a change from being a very much of an outsider to very much of an insider in undergraduate public health education. So I think we're seeing a real um, acceptance of public health by, the, uh, by undergraduate uh, uh, institutions.